Did you know that only 2.5% of all the water in the world is fresh water and that only 1% is accessible? The purpose of this video is going to share about water disruption in the state of Selangor. So what is water disruption? Water disruption is a break or interruption of the normal course or continuation of activity or process that need water especially in the state of Selangor. Selangor water authorities have identified the cause of the water pollution in Sungai Selangor which caused water supply disruption in Klang Valley since 8 December 2020. Economy development suffer when basic necessities are not met and people have to struggle hard for them. Still, we people did for granted and did not understand of the importance of water conservation. Today, we will be going over some of the causes and effects of the water crisis. God, there's no water. So I'm gonna check Facebook for the detail of water in Samo. There's really no water anywhere in Slango. Okay, let's check the news on TV. The water problem in the state of Slango has no end. What is the real cause and effect on all the people of Slango? According to I Slango, all these problems are caused by chemical pollution in the river in Slango. For more than a decade, the water problem in the state of Slango could not be solved by the state government. So, let's see what the impact in is on the people in the state of Slango. Assalamualaikum and greeting to all. I'm your reporter, Muhammad Ezi al Vadi, is currently in one of the house of the resident who face water supply disruption in Kampung Peda Bukit Tiraka, Kapas Lango. The problem that has lasted for three days caused difficulty for the residents to carry out daily activity. With this, I invite the representative of the resident, Mr. Haikal, to ask some questions. Uh, Assalamualaikum, Mr. Haikal. So, I want to ask if this water disruption problem is common. Yes, this problem has been very common time uh, since the last few uh, few years. What effect did you feel most during this water supply disruption? The most noticeable effect might be when you want to carry out daily activities uh, such as washing clothes and breastfeeding. So, where do you get water supply during this problem? So, uh, Ice uh, Lango has provided a catchment area, but it ran out quickly, uh, quickly because there were many people and lack of supply. Okay, so thank you, Mr. Ika, to answer some questions. Okay. So, here, it can be explained that water problem in Slango need to be resolved immediately. They all for me, so thank you. So, we continue to our next reporter, Najwa. Hello and Assalamualaikum. So today I will show you the shop uh, has been closed because of um, a water crisis. So as you all can see here, uh, this shop name is Dobi Cuci Baso uh, is closed because of uh, crisis water. 
uh, and this Bruno cafe also is closer because of water and this Malor spa is also temporarily closed because of this disruption of water supply Hello sir, can you introduce yourself? Hello, I am Arif, owner of this cafe um, What do you feel with this problem? This problem made me have to close my cafe temporarily until there was a water supply Thank you. Oh, I see. Thank you sir The effect of crisis water to people and society First, residents need to spend more money Many shops have to close temporarily. Long periods of water disruption may affect the economy, cause epidemics, and can generally be a great pain in the Taiji. For example, water supply disruption, the Klang Valley may result in economy losses of billions of ringgit because of decline in production, cost increases, and productivity drops. Also, with new COVID-19 clusters popping up everywhere, including Selangor, having no water can be dangerous as well. Many major industries such as manufacturing, tourism, food, and healthcare will suffer losses as operations can run normally, thus affecting the daily business target set. Failure to issue the target, especially to manufacturers, will lead them to increase costs due to overtime operation to cover the affected production. Ini laporkan mengenai apa kelemahan kekuasaan menyebabkan hmm. pencemaran sungai di sekitar Selangor. Selangor dan KL. Ia tidak sepenuhnya uh, pengurangan pengkuasaan. Kita memerlukan beberapa pendetilan. Saya bagi contoh spek air yang keluar daripada outlet IWK tidak sama dengan spek yang diperlukan inlet di dalam our uh, apa, treatment plan okay. itu <coughs> tak ada kaitan dengan pengkuasaan you kau rasa macam mana pun outlet yang keluar itu <coughs> tak akan sama dan <coughs> sebagai contoh bau outlet IWK tidak meletakkan kriteria bau sebagai satu kriteria untuk dihalang tapi <coughs> untuk treatment air Selangor kita perlukan elakkan bau jadi perkara tersebut kita tak boleh salahkan semua pihak Jadi kita perlu pelarasan balik Dan supaya penguasaan boleh diambil Sebagaimana saya sebut Ia perlu melibatkan teknologi Sebab jajaran atau lembangan Sungai Selangor Ada 120 km How you want to monitor every day 24-7 Adakah kita nak letak 120 orang Di setiap kilometer untuk monitor air setiap hari Itu agak susah Ataupun bukan agak susah Itu tak realistik Tapi itu bukan bermakna kita harus men membiarkan saja. Jadi sekarang ni fokus uh, untuk tidak kesedaran di kalangan masyarakat <coughs> lah. ini. Ya, ya, kita memang uh, lakukan perkara tersebut. Kesedaran dipertingkatkan dan mereka tahu sebab uh, alhamdulillah di negeri Selangor ada 2 3 occasion di mana public sendiri membuat report. Kita mesti ingat di semenyih sebelum PRK semenyih, mereka dapat kesan dan belum sempat masuk ke dalam uh, sungai semenyih. 
Dan ini adalah satu perkembangan yang sihat dan kita harap rakyat akan lebih cakna dengan perkara-perkara ini untuk menangani ketidak bertanggungjawapan setengah pihak yang mungkin merasakan buat shortcut tetapi kesannya sangat parah kepada rakyat dan juga pembangunan ekonomi negeri Sarawak. Alright, thank you. So, for a conclusion for this video, Selangor Water Authorities have identified that mostly the issues of the water disruption is caused by water pollution. Here are the ways how we can we help stop water pollution. First, do not pour fat from cooking or any other type of fat, oil or grease down the sink. Second, do not dispose of household chemicals or cleaning against down the sink or toilet. Number three, avoiding, avoid using a garbage disposable. Okay, hopefully that's our government can finally find the best ever possible solution to all these parent near water related issues in Selangor so that we as consumer can live a better and quality life. Thank you.